So in today's video, I want to show you how to set up Plan, aka Player Analytics. An analytics plugin for your Minecraft server that will give you a lot of insight on your player activity. It comes with a web page where you can see a lot of information about your player base, which can be extremely handy for server owners. So today I want to show you how to get it working on your own Minecraft server. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel if you've not done so yet. So Plan, aka Player Analytics, can be downloaded from Spigot MC. It gives you a little bit of information here on how the plugin exactly works and what the web page looks like, which is pretty impressive, but we just want to install it. So let's click on download now and then drag the downloaded plugin into the plugins folder of your Minecraft server. So just go to your Minecraft server directory, look for plugins and then drag plan inside. Then give your server a little restart and now it's time to actually do the setup. Now what is very important for this setup is that you need a second port available on your Minecraft server. So I'm hosting my Minecraft server at Alienhost. And on Alienhost, when you go to the tab that's called Network, you will be able to create a second allocation. In other words, you will open up a second port. My main port that I need to use to join my Minecraft server is 25566. But by clicking on Create Allocation, I will now also have access to the port 255. Nine, five. Now this is really, really important. You do need a second port, which is not your primary port, to access that web analytics page. Now a lot of hosting providers out there do have an option like this available. So before setting all of this up, make sure to check at your hosting provider if you're able to add additional allocations. Now in my case, this will be my second port. So I'm gonna copy it. Then I'm going to my Minecraft server directory. Here we're going to plugins and then there's should now be a plan folder available. Let's go inside of there and then we're gonna look for the config.yml. Now inside of the config we want to scroll down a little bit all the way until you see the tab web server. Now under web server there will be a port and this port which by default is 8804 you want to replace with your second additional port. So for me that is 25595. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna enable alternative IP. So I'm gonna set this to true and then where it says your domain here, you just want to put in the IP address of your Minecraft server. So for me, that is this. Now this part, percent port percent, will automatically be replaced with this. So as long as your additional port is stated over here, you should be fine. Now I found that if I now just restart the server and I try to get onto the website, it doesn't work yet. First, you have to delete this file, server info file.yml. So simply delete it. There we go. Then that file should now be regenerated with the right information. So now we're simply gonna restart. And during the startup, you should see something like this. Web server running on port 25595 or whatever port you put in. So here I can see my IP address, my port, and it's actually a link that I can click on. So you can simply click on it or copy it. And there we go. We got our beautiful analytics. So over here, you can find a lot of stuff. And I'm mostly gonna leave the exploration to you. But like you can see, we got uptime, total players, regular players, then also the total playtime, average playtime. In other words, there is lots of stuff here. And the more people you have on your Minecraft server, the better stats you will of course get. Now, some of you might have already noticed a little problem with this website. Literally, the only thing I did was click on that link and now I can immediately see all of these server stats. In other words, it is not very safe. Everyone that knows your server IP and the right ports can access this website. And that is, of course, not something that you want. Well, maybe you do, but you probably don't. So we need to secure it. And this is where it gets a little complicated. So the recommended thing to do here is set up an SSL certificate. If you do that, your website will not be accessed to HTTP, which is considered unsafe but instead through HTTP which is safe. Now, if you do set up an SSL certificate, you will be able to enable a login system. So when you're here, you can put in a username and a password. It's only after putting in the right information, you will be able to access this page. The problem is to add an SSL certificate, you need terminal access. Now, this video is not really about terminals or SSL certificates or Linux, so I won't go too much into detail. But basically, they want you to have terminal access if you don't there's a way to do it on your own PC, but you will need to do port forwarding, and it is just a lot of complicated stuff. <laughs> 
Now, if you own your own VPS and you're hosting your Minecraft server on there, then following this tutorial would be highly recommended. It is for sure the most secure way to do it. Though 99% of people watching this video will not host their own VPS. They're just hosting somewhere at a hosting company. They don't have terminal access. What can you do if you're not able to add an SSL certificate at all? Well, the alternative is an IP whitelist. So back inside of the plan config file we were just in, on line 87, we got the IP whitelist. Now over here we can enable it, just like that. And now we can put in IP addresses over here. It's only devices with that IP address will be able to access the website. So I just turned on the IP whitelist, I restarted my server, and when I now go to the website, I get this. 403 forbidden, IP whitelist enabled, your IP is not on the list. In other words, I'm not able to see the analytics anymore. Only when my own IP address is on that IP whitelist, I'll be able to access the analytics page. Now, if you want to know what your IP address is, simply Google what is my IP. The website that will probably show up on top is what is my IP address.com. And when you click on there, it will show your IP. It really is that easy. And that is going to be everything for today. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Hopefully I was able to help you out. If I did, do make sure to subscribe to my channel. You would help me out so much by doing that. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.